Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nono Films. And we are going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials. And uh, just just like I said in previous videos, this time we're going to be covering the iMovie effects, video effects, and sound effects. So let's just jump right into that. I'm going to open up my iMovie. Or I'm going to take it up out of its minimization. And we're going to go straight into, this is what we've been working on all these tutorials so far, just this little clip. I might have to change it up. But what you're going to do is you're going to select your clip, go to adjustments, and uh, mine just uh, looks like froze on me. Give it a moment. There we go. And then we're going to go straight over to our last section of the adjustments, and it's going to be the video effects, and then we're going to cover the time frames as well. But first, let's get in straight into the video, video effects. Clip is selected, and we can go click on the video effects and when it says none select that it will give you a bunch of video effects and how you want it to look and the cool feature about this is you just simply have to scroll over it and you can see the effect in effect wow that that made a lot of sense didn't it what I'm basically saying is your clip will be playing with the effect already on it you don't even have to select it to see it play you, you can simply just put your mouse over it and you'll see it as you can see on my right hand side of the screen there. So yeah, this is a quick preview of all the effects I'm showing you guys right here side by side. I'm just going through them quickly and you can see the effects. You just, all you got to do is simply click on them and then from there it's basically self-explanatory. It shows you what the names of the effect is and just simply drag over it. That's, well, that's kind of creepy. But, and then you got black and white, the old fashioned black and white. <laughs> it's actually really cool. Yeah, that's really bright looking. <laughs> Look at my hair. I look like a grandpa. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, that's the effects, you guys. And then same, my ultimate favorite favorite effect is now is the audio effects. Audio effects are, is something actually new that's been introduced in iMovie 10.0. It actually wasn't previously in iMovie, in the old versions especially. In the old version is what I'm trying to say. But in the new version, it has these audio effects, which I'm going to show you guys, for example, right now. I'm going to turn up the volume in order to do that. I'm going to turn up my volume and I'm going to have you guys listen to some of these effects. And uh, <clears throat> you guys should should get a kick out of some of them. Here we go. Hello ladies and gents. Go here. Welcome to No One Will Film. <laughs> this week and I thought it would be good to make a new accent with the new camera I have. Hello ladies and gents. Go here. Welcome to No One Will Film. This is another update this week, and that would be good to make a new accent. Hello, ladies and gents. Here, welcome to No One Will This is another update this week, and that would be good to make a new accent with the new camera I have. Now you can kind of tell how they made that chipmunk movie with their voices uh, really high pitched, <laughs> but it's—I doubt they did it that way. But this is actually—it's very funny. I, I find these pitches and audio um, effects really funny, and I, I do enjoy them. I play with them a lot and make other videos on my different channels regarding them. But this, this here. Let's go to the last section right here, which is the uh, the inspector, I believe it's called. Last time I known I known this as an eye with the circle around the clay. Actually, they call it clip information, but I've known it as inspector, which actually you can go in and just change the the size of the video manually. Basically, well, you can do it manually through here as well, but this is a, an additional function in adjustments. So this this here at first will tell you actually when you uploaded this to iMovie or imported it to iMovie and it'll tell you the time and the date when you you got them what how basically letting you know how old this clip is and uh, then on the right hand side here it'll tell you the duration which is the time of the clip at the moment mine to be exact is 14.2 seconds now I could change that I could go to 10 seconds hit 10 and it'll change it exactly 10 seconds. Sometimes it'll be 9.9. .9. I don't know why it does that 9.9 .9, when it should be 10 seconds. I believe it's like cutting out. It's not counting a second here or something, or it's just actually taken out. Instead of making it 10 seconds, it's just making it 9.9. .9. So sometimes if you want exactly 10 seconds or if you want it to say 10 seconds up here, 
And if you're like me, I just go 10.1, which we shouldn't have to do. And you get, there you go, you got 10 seconds. But also, just you don't even have to mess with this if you don't want to. You can simply, let's say you have a little part of the clip here you don't want in here. You can simply go over it and drag back. And it shows you how many seconds you're minusing right up here. It shows you like minus 3, minus 4, minus 8, minus 1 second. And there you are. And there you are, that one second is gone. That's about it for this tutorial, you guys. I'm going to be continuing on tutorials, and we're going to co cover the content library next, and we're going to cover uh, transitions, titles, maps and rounds, and we're actually, we already covered sound effects, GarageBand, and iTunes in an earlier tutorial. I'm going to begin and uh, maybe finish our content library in our next tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and be sure to ask any questions below. I will respond with the video response. Or if it's something very simple, I will be sure to comment back. Thank you guys for watching. Later. Let my life be the proof. The proof of your